Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I'm coming to you from my elliptical. Friends, we've got a TV over there that's fun to watch, but it was hard to have the remote. I, in Tinkercad, built some designs. This one was stationary, and it held it. Then I found the pull knob, and I put it to work. You can see here the container holds it on, but this was loose. And then finally, on version 3, it is connected. I can hang it on a post, and it works like a champ. All right, friends, as I said, there were three versions. You can see this just snaps on. It is adjustable. This was guess and check. I built it a long time ago, but the TiVo peanut has stayed the same, so it works pretty well. I had one that's super snug, but then we ended up finding that having it be able to tilt like that, it balances really well. This stays in place, and let me show you what it looks like in Tinkercad. Friends, you've seen it in use. It works like a champ. This is the place where I built it. Uh, lots of guess and check. You can see I save every copy, and now you can have this as well. The one thing I want to share with you that was kind of cool, this piece right here, you can find it down on hardware, and when you bring it in, it is locked. You cannot scale it. So all I did was export this single piece as a STL, and then when I re-imported it, now I can scale it to whatever size I need. I don't want to adjust that, so I'm going to do Control z This is the puller. You could find it down here on Shape Generators. If you go to All Shapes and hit More and More and More and More and More, you will finally find the puller. It is right here. It is handy dandy, so I'm going to make it a favorite. Of course, you can see I've got one right here, and if you ungroup this, you would be able to play with it as well. I scaled these two. Let me do Control D quickly, and I'll move this over here and drop it on the ground. And if I do Control D and I bring this over, these fit pretty darn well. Let's do F to fit view, and I'll move it into place and show you what I did. If you've never seen this, friends, if you set your nudge down to pretty small and do Alt Shift, it will scale around its center so you can get it lined up perfect. Also, you'll notice I have done T for transparency so we can get a better look inside the shape. Friends, this is yours to play with now. You can ungroup, adjust, have fun, make it work for your remote control. As I said, this fits my TiVo just dandy. And then also you can see my own custom supports so that it prints pretty darn efficiently. I will also show you under here if we do T, I have rounded this out so that way it prints pretty efficient as well. Friends, I have grouped it all together and put it all back the way it was. This is what it'll look like when you open the design. Of course, friends, if you make something super cool with it, I'd love to have you share it with me. You can click this button right here, generate a link, copy the link, and reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Of course, if those options don't work for you, don't forget you can also visit HLModTech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons. And then down at the bottom, there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I also have the designer showcase right here as well. You can find all of my designs by checking the designer directory and clicking on HL Mod Tech. This initially loads sorted by likes. If you want to see the latest design, you can simply switch that. Notice I let you know that there is a tutorial included. As you're looking through all the options, don't forget if it says tutorial included, it'll have a link right up there so you can find the tutorial and possibly even upgrades. Friends, I hope you found this useful and if you did, please give the video a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.